What's going on everyone? We've got the custom eyeball Xbox 360 fully water cooled fully custom you're gonna get the console with hard drive extra fitting to help fill and drain the system uh, custom controller throw a game in there you can first get your power brick and an HDMI also throw in this UV light because this entire system has glow-in-the-dark paint and we'll show it in the light later entire backside as well so we'll take a look at in full detail this entire system first look at the controller this was a 360 elite controller it's got a clear blue shell on the back clear shell on the front it's got this like copper colored buttons and stuff it's a little worn out this is my personal system has been for a little while now <clears throat> um, blue analog sticks it has the blue ring of light right here it also has blue LEDs on the rockers so as those vibrate they'll kind of light up in the corners here And then we'll look at the uh, system in full detail. In full detail. Uh, so this started as a pro Red Ring of Death Xbox that I started to customize uh, for a client. I fixed the Red Ring of Death, obviously. Added this giant fan. It kind of went along with a Grand Theft Auto 4 themed Xbox I had. That I actually sold on eBay um, probably like four or five months ago maybe I don't know that one also had a 200 millimeter fan um, and they were just air cooled um, after the client no longer was interested I then decided to water cool it um, and then the other system I had that I was building alongside this one as well as water cooled was a stealth version so pretty much same thing just all black and it had a reservoir up in the top um, but this one's got it down here. Still has 200 millimeter fan. Um, both systems. What makes these kind of unique is I only have two XSPC Xbox 360 FAT specific water blocks. Um, it's something you just cannot find anywhere for a long time. You haven't been, been able to buy them anywhere. Um, and they're nice because they fit the stock system. Uh, like underneath the DVD drive as you know that's something you can't really fit a water block underneath because the fittings would stick out um, so XSPC made a rectangle block that goes over both chips and has the fittings on this side next to the DVD drive so one is in the stealth system that's the one I'm keeping the other block is in this system here so it's got the XSPC water block there is a Phobia DC-12 pump right below here. This is a freeze mod, just a rectangular uh, reservoir. On the back here, this one has a dual 50 millimeter radiator built into the, into the back. Um, so basically, this here is going to feed if there's actually a bottom fitting on this reservoir feeds into your pump that pump then pumps it through this radiator it then goes through the block and then back up here into the uh, reservoir and this was designed to be upright or horizontal so it still works upright it still has the water feeding the pump correctly and then you can also have it laid down as well um, now, what I was saying was the other stealth system was a Jasper model, so I eventually then got a Jasper motherboard to swap into this build. So this is a Jasper 360. It has a 120 gigabyte hard drive. The top and bottom are painted this anodized purple. The outside here is just a blue, like a matte blue, with a glow-in-the-dark glow paint over it. The rest of the system here has this raindrop effect. Let's see if we can get it good on camera here. It is not perfect, but 
basically you spray water droplets on the whatever you're painting you'll spray one darker color one direction on a horizontal angle just one direction and then a lighter color spray the opposite direction and then you let all the water evaporate and once it's gone it still kind of looks like it's there so basically I painted everything in a heavy coat of glow-in-the-dark paint and then on top of that I misted this anodized purple one direction in the opposite direction I did this like pearlescent color shift it's like a bluish purple so you'll kind of see this sparkle in there there you go and so that's on this side and the other side uh, your faceplate here is from a ghost case the other part of it is on my other system but just the faceplate here completely see-through uh, the system also has a blue and pink ring of light so it's kinda you know blue on the diagonally and then the other side is pink um, there are blue LEDs inside of this 200 millimeter fan there's also blue LEDs inside the two 50 millimeter fans on the radiator so this is sucking plenty of air in through the side and then these two fans are blowing air out the back through the radiator um, up here we've also got a window cut with a frosted window um, or frosted plexiglass and it has blue leds inside of there as well um, this is set up it will be um, filled with just plain distilled water adding any color will be up to you i recommend just uv dyes um, it had green in here i had blue pink purple different colors in here i think what looks best is a blue you can get clear uv blue so it'll look like just pure water and then when you turn it on there is a 12 volt uv led strip that runs right through this uh, or right alongside this reservoir so any uv dye you put in there will glow really nice right here um you'll still be able to see a little bit of the green and i left that because there you go i want to show how to easily drain the system um also in the loop coming out of the block is a y fitting with a temperature sensor on it and I decided to mount the monitor behind the fan so you can still actually read it pretty, pretty easily through the uh, clear fan blades. And it does run very cool. Take a look at these here. No issues at all with the disk drive. Everything is working fantastic. Like I said, I've been using this system as my personal one while I work on my other ones. Um, and I just love this build. It is definitely, if not one of my favorites, or if not my favorite, then one of my favorites for sure. Um, the DVD drive, you can kind of see, has it's just kind of sticker bomb with random like neon stickers. So that's it there. I'm going to go ahead and show that this comes with... Oh, Um, this extra fitting here so obviously you're gonna have this in the horizontal position you'll be able to just you can see this little bit of air bubble here so you can undo this put this fitting on there and then basically you just go to a sink and you can tilt the whole system upside down it'll drain just about all of it out and then you can get any sort of fill bottle I have one of these um, just easily refill it all the way to the top again while it's laying horizontal and then you'll turn it on, you'll hear the pump kind of loud for a few seconds while the uh, water fills up the system. And then you just kind of, you can do that over and over to rinse the system out. Um, or you can just use this if you wanted to add in your uh, UV dye or just top the system off as the bubbles work out of the loop. You're going to see this air gap grow a little bit. And you'll just have to keep kind of topping it off a few times until it's completely full so we'll go ahead and do that now real quick as I want to flush this out a couple more times get that UV green out and then we'll finally show the uh, 
glow in the dark with the lights off to end the video. Okay, one thing to note, always make sure the system is unplugged before you start draining or adding anything. Um, but as you can see, this just unscrews. Put this one on. Now I can take this over the sink, dump it all out, and then refill it with this. And I'm just going to do that a couple times so I'll have it all flushed out. Now, I like to have sending the, or sending these kind of systems with just distilled water. Um, I would do it empty, but if it gets damaged in shipping and then you go to add it, it starts leaking everywhere. I'd rather it be full because distilled water is not going to hurt anything. This doesn't hold enough water to really, like, cause a big flood problem or anything. Um, but... If it does get damaged, you'll be able to have see some water spilled out somewhere. So you, then you'll know something's wrong. You won't want to plug it in while there's water spilled somewhere and fry something. So anyway, that's why we do that. Plus, I like to let you decide whatever color you want to get. That's up to you. So I'm going to drain this out, and then we'll finish the video. All right, just refilled it. You hear the pumps kind of loud for a second there. And then as that's filled up all the way, and as the bubbles work out, you hear the noise goes away. But there you go. Take a look at the hard drive lights. Alright, then we'll go ahead and kill the lights. Finish topping this off and put the cap on here. Then we'll see what it's like in the dark. Here are some of the bubbles sloshing around if you flip it upright. <clears throat> also, the inside of the shell is painted with the glow in the dark, so once I turn this off, you can see this UV strip back there. Still glows quite a bit. Start drawing on here. Like I said, I'll throw in this little flashlight so you can mess around with it. The back works really well. You got a whole plank canvas. I guess if you had a bright enough light, or you brought it outside or something in the sunlight for a little bit and then brought it into like a dark room, you can see the entire thing glowing. There you go. So that's it. Thanks for watching. You can check out the build videos of this system on my channel any questions please leave a comment like subscribe